Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back, it's Zach. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the long-awaited and hyped up Versed Guards Up Daily Mineral SPF 35. This is a broad spectrum UVA UVB covering SPF. It is a mineral formula with just zinc oxide. But what this doesn't say on the packaging is that this is actually a tinted sunscreen. If you want to know my thoughts and application, then just keep watching. Let's jump into it. This product I recently picked up at Target, and one thing I just want to say off the bat that I do appreciate is that this does not expire for two years from opening. So 24 months from opening. Thank you so much because to be honest, I have so many skincare products that are expiring so soon and it's just really sad. So it's nice to know that I have until January of 2023 until I have to get rid of this. So that's great. And it's only 1.7 fluid ounces, so I will definitely be through it by then. This retails for $22, which I think is a little bit expensive, especially for the drugstore and the amount of product that you get. But if this is a good product and it's a sunscreen that you're going to continue to use, then that's okay. This says right on the top of it that it has sea flannel and morgana seed extract. This does have a couple of interesting ingredients in it, but it's supposed to be a hydrating but not greasy formula. This has 15.2% zinc oxide as the main active sunscreen ingredient. So let me put some out of my hand for you guys. As you can see on my hand, this has a little bit of like a color. It doesn't leave a color on the skin. Uh, it just has no white cast. So this is a great mineral sunscreen for every skin type, I can imagine. If you are somebody of a darker skin type or know someone of a darker skin tone or a super light skin tone that has used this, let me know because I would love to know how it works. But based on how it blends away to nothing, I would think that this could work for anybody and it leaves a subtle glow on the skin and I do feel like it also helps kind of blur the skin a little bit which is not surprising with that tinted sunscreen in it. It's great that this is a tinted sunscreen because that means that it has iron oxides in it. Iron oxides are great because they help us protect us against visible light and blue light. So blue light is a big thing people are talking about. People are wearing glasses for them. People are getting sponsored by these companies. I don't personally use blue light glasses at the moment, um, though I would love to try them and see if they work. People say they don't get headaches when they wear them, and so that's phenomenal, and it could be protecting their eyes from the screens as well. We're all in front of screens and, and lights and stuff like that. I'm in front of a light right now to film for you guys and lights overhead, so I could use some protection even though I'm not out in the sun. So this product has those iron oxides in them, which is great. So it's going to help protect your skin from the blue light and lights that we are surrounded by. Infrared lights and things like that. So that's awesome. My only complaint about this product is that one, I don't know if it's been breaking me out. I don't know because I stopped using it. My breakouts went away. I have not started using it again. I've been collecting my thoughts for over a month and I finally sat down to give you guys them. I still don't know if it's breaking me out. You know, I can patch test it, but the thing is I didn't break out everywhere when I use this, only a couple places. So when I do the patch test, nothing happens. So that tells me it's not breaking me out. So it's super frustrating. I will leave down in the description box or a pinned comment letting you guys know my thoughts. Again, after this is filmed and uploaded, it's probably not gonna go up for a couple of weeks. I will let you know how it's been going since, uh, but I think it might be breaking me out. The second thing I don't like about this sunscreen is that it is extremely sticky. Like where I just swatched my hand is still sticky. So when I put this on my face, it's a sticky feeling. And then when I reapply my sunscreen throughout the day, the stickiness is still there and then it gets worse as I continue to reapply. I really don't like that factor. And we're talking right now, it's winter time. It's not that humid. I'm in a dry climate. I cannot imagine how disgusting <laughs> This is going to feel in the summer, especially if you are oily or live in a humid climate. This just is a worse nightmare being so sticky and gross. Also, that stickiness makes me feel like it doesn't set down on my face. And that means as I touch my face or taking off a shirt or whatever in the summer, I feel like it's going to rub off the sunscreen a lot easier than other products. This is not water resistant. And so I don't think it's going to stay put that long. So that's my other issue with it. 
with those issues going on and because a lot of sunscreens can work for me based on my skin tone i personally will not be buying another one of these i honestly don't reach for this sunscreen at all because i just don't like the way that it feels i'm not going to return it because i'm testing it out for you guys and i'm sure somebody else would love it so i'll probably just give it to a friend or donate it or something like that um but for me personally this is a pass i don't know why this was so hyped up I think there are so many other better sunscreens out there. This is the problem. The internet hypes up stuff, then I try it and test it out, and I'm like, why? I have so many other great sunscreens that barely leave a cast, that have better sunscreen protection, and that aren't sticky, and that cost, like, better than half the price. Like, I have products that are under $10 that give you double the amount of this product so it's insane if you guys want to watch more sunscreen review videos click on my channel go to playlist click on sunscreen reviews and i have tons of sunscreen reviews up on my channel for you guys to binge watch and you can kind of get an idea of what a great sunscreen is for my skin and in my opinion this one is just a total pass for me let me know in the comments down below have you guys tried this did you want to did i deter you from trying it and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much have a great day